The clock is ticking with August 31st fast approaching. U.S. President Joe Biden and other leaders of the G7 countries will hold a virtual meeting today to discuss the evacuation efforts. Britain, which is hosting the meeting, said that it plans to urge the United States to extend the end-of-the-month deadline for evacuations. France and Germany have too indicated that more time was needed for the evacuations. All reports indicate that President Biden will make a decision in this regard today. Western nations are struggling to bring home their own citizens with the situation at the Kabul airport remaining tense and chaotic as desperate Afghans seeking to flee the country flock to the airport. Giving an indication to just how vital America is to the evacuation process, UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said that if the United States were to leave, everyone will have to leave as well. Currently, America has 6,000 troops at the Kabul airport providing support. If they exit, it will be difficult for other nations to continue evacuations without the U.S. framework. Well, the Prime Minister is obviously at G7 going to try and raise uh, the prospect of seeing if the United States will extend. Uh, it's really important for people to understand the United States have over 6,000 people in Kabul airport and when they withdraw that will take away the framework that has allowed us to withdraw and we will have to go as well. Um, I don't think there is any likelihood on staying on after the United States. Uh, if their timetable extends even by a day or two, then that will give us a day or two more to evacuate people because we are really down to hours uh, now, not weeks, and we have to uh, make sure we exploit every minute to get people out. Also on the agenda, leaders are expected to pledge unity on whether or not to officially recognize the Taliban as leader of the country and discuss possible economic sanctions if the Taliban commit human rights abuses or allow their territory to be used as a haven for militants. The leaders are also expected to reaffirm a vow to safeguard gains made in Afghanistan over the past 20 years, particularly around girls' educations and women's rights. But it is the evacuation effort that is likely to dominate the discussions. Johnson spoke to Biden ahead of the G7 meeting. They agreed to ensure that all eligible to leave Kabul were able to do so, including after the initial phase of the evacuation ended. President's handling of the crisis so far has angered some of the United States' closest allies. The manner of the withdrawal has strained relations between Washington and other Western capitals, with most expressing dismay at the harrowing scenes which emerged from, the Afghanis from Afghanistan as Ta Taliban took control of the country. And our correspondent Susan Tehrani has sent us this report. Let's listen in. U.S. President Joe Biden facing anger and anxiety here at home for his handling of America's withdrawal from Afghanistan is expected to be pressed by foreign allies at the G7 meeting on Tuesday. They want to see an extension past the August 31st deadline of full American troop withdrawal from the country, saying a quick evacuation would simply be dangerous. The president, however, has not committed. Military officials are telling the White House that the president must make a decision quickly in order to get the 5,800 troops out of the country along with their equipment and their weapons. Meanwhile, a Taliban spokesman has threatened that there will be quote-unquote consequences if the U.S. stays past the August 31st deadline, only complicating the situation and having many asking who's really in charge. Susan Tehrani from New York for We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.